Hey guys, so I decided I would do a get ready little video just because, you know, that's something to say. Why not? <laughs> First thing I'm going to use is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. This is in the shade T. This is a weird foundation because it always looks like it's going to be too light for me, but it just about matches it because the last one I had, um, it was this in the second purchase. It was like it was too it was too light so I got this one but funny enough the one that I had before looked darker than this one but you know whatever this one just this shade just gels with me a lot better. so did anyone see the USC last night Obviously this didn't be uploaded on Sunday, but it was like the first time where, or was it a time in the UK where it didn't finish at 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and that's mainly just because it was pay-per-view over here. Next thing I'm going to use is the Avon Colourful and Translucent Tan powder but yeah because it was pay-per-view and obviously you just needed more money because i believe in america they all it's all the the fight nights aren't pay-per-view but all the others are i know the ones where it's ufc and the number <laughs> um i think they're all pay-per-view in america i don't know where I'm anywhere about but obviously because there's no audience and everything and you've got the title fighters they don't seem to realise who needs obviously more money coming in so I think that's the only reason why I've done it because you could have done it any time like because there's no audience and you could have done it any time but you decided to do it when it's like a pay-per-view over there the next thing I'm going to use is the Tonya Burr um, Cosmetics Rosy Plus Cheek Palette I don't think she does makeup anymore it's a bit of a shame that she doesn't like have her own line anymore because I was shockingly surprised with this. Like I tried the lipsticks as well, but I'm like, I mean, I don't follow her or anything on YouTube, but I do like, I do like her makeup. But I, I did get on the bandwagon pretty late though, just because I'm not necessarily a fan. But I think it's because I wanted to, I need, I wanted to do a video. I thought, you know what, let's try Tanya Bear products. And the next thing I need is the blush in that same palette. Also, what happened well, last night was I was always doing like a benefit thing for Lyme disease, and the amount of people that were pissed off. So I don't know how, to be fair, I didn't know how long it was, so I had an energy drink and it was only like an hour long and um, kind of, um, so I didn't kind of go to bed till like what, three, no, actually the times were confusing because the times went back so don't even quote me on that, either way I went to bed like past one o'clock and um, no it was, I swear it was past three, I think it was around three actually, but anyway like people were moaning because of the price so it was 25 dollars bearing in mind all of it goes to lamb disease so if you didn't know she's got like a foundation for lamb disease but like other sort of um illnesses and stuff but this benefit was specifically for lab disease and people were moaning saying oh she only did four songs but bearing in mind she had guests doing it as well second of all they had information obviously on lamb disease and everything and you're moaning like this is a problem why people don't do donate for nothing because they always expect something like they always expect something after doing something if that makes any sense and it's like you lot you just make yourself look really self-entitled like you know what i mean like it's like now that's why you end up having celebrities having to sign things just to get people to donate money and it's thinking you've got all that money like say people pay because some people pay a lot and all of it goes to charity it's like well you could have gone off your backside and donated all that yourself you know what i mean um but anyway it kind of, it kind of annoys me like i used to donate to the uh, um uh, the um uh, ambul ambulance the midlands air ambulance obviously i'm not currently working which i've got another story to mention about that in a minute 
you know what I mean? I don't know to even expect anything, but some people just, especially young people, a lot of them are quite selfish. Okay, for eyeshadow, I'm using the Eye Heart Chocolate Rose Gold Palette. Oh yeah, on the job front, I got, it was weird, I got a phone call, so I applied to be like a packer. I think it might be temporary, it's like a medical packer, but it's specifically to pack um, COVID tests. And, um, yeah, so I got a phone call, it's through an agency, and they're like, they just asked me a few questions like how old I was and stuff, and they sent me to do like an online like, application just to fill like details and stuff, like bank details, and it don't start until... Um, she said like in the middle of November or the end of December, that sort of November, December time. And and basically it was like I've got the job but I'm guessing that I've automatically got the job because all she did was ask for my age and she said there wouldn't be an interview, all it was all she would contact me when like obviously it starts and to go down there to a health and safety and that's it. So I'm guessing I've automatically got the job. I don't know. But they're looking for 50 people. Obviously, I'm not relying on that. I'm still looking. But that's just like a backup plan if I don't find anything in that time. But, yeah. They're looking for like 50 plus uh, people. But yeah, that was like a weird one, to be fair. But all the jobs that are coming on now are like Christmas, temporary, which I don't really want to pick up because the chances of them keeping you on is a lot lower now than before, just because obviously the COVID situation. But that was a weird one. So I'm, I'm going to assume that I've automatically got the job. But obviously with agency, if you're not good enough, they can just like get rid of you, that sort of thing. Um, I know they can look for other work, just stack it. It's out of, because I don't want to work, usually I don't want to work for agencies. Where's that brush gone? Really? Why did I put that brush? Okay, this is annoying me. I had a brush and I put it on the window. I swear I put it on the window and I don't know where it is. Maybe I'm going to have to get another brush. <laughs> How can a brush just disappear? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Right, anyway. What was I saying? I don't really want to work for an agency just because agencies have bad reps. Like, out of all the agencies when I've bought, like, reviews on them, well, reviews on them, this is the one where people are kind of all right with it they're actually not that bad but a lot of the time people hate them because they just treat the workers really bad if that makes any sense like sometimes they don't pay them on time sometimes it's hard to book holidays you know that sort of thing but these actually have a good reputa uh, reputation But yeah, I'm going for a really simple look today. Just because I've done quite a few, well, two Halloween looks, I just want to do a simple um, makeup look. My favourite one is probably the the, um, the the infected one. The thing is, is really, I kind of adapted that one because I had the idea, like, in my head. And I was like, you know what really annoys me? <laughs> because obviously, if... I thought of it when I got paid, I would have got it, but I was thinking more of like a night, like a um, hospital gown that sort of thing, but then I thought maybe just go for like something like, obviously I looked for my pyjamas and stuff, but it was either go for like a young child, or can I just go for an adult, I realised because of my height I can't really pass as a child anymore, with like cosplays and stuff like that, so I was like, you know what, I'll go for an adult, and I thought I'll go for this sort of gown, because it's kind of, it's not like a hospital gown, but you know what I mean, it's not like fancy with like fancy designs and stuff like that, if that makes any sense, and I think that's the only dressing gown I actually own. The next thing I'm going to use is the Rimmel London Wonder Deluxe Royal Mascara. So yeah, that one's probably my favourite. 
it is a bit annoying because some pubs are still celebrating Halloween but I just don't have the confidence in people to like actually go that's the thing like you, I get why pubs are annoyed when they have to shut at a certain time or in some places in the house shut all together unless they're serving food because like you could argue maybe they are hygienic but it's people that go in there and don't know what they're doing like you see people out and they're touching the mask and they're not sanitizing their hands after it just makes me want to vomit <laughs> that's the problem like people are just stupid the next thing i use is the nyx cosmic metals lip cream in the shade speed of light Like my mum said maybe they should have like a video explaining it but I mean how stupid can you be like it's one of those things where you just oh I found it <laughs> I found the I found the brush I was looking for but anyway it's like people like how stupid can you be where you need someone to like direct it's like something like it's common sense sort of thing but honestly this world has no common sense but this is it for this look so Bye guys.